Boy 21 by New York Times bestselling author Matthew Quick, also the author of Silver Linings Playbook. Boy 21 is told from the point of view of Finley, called White Rabbit by his basketball teammates because he's the only white guy on the black-dominated team. Finley lives with his grandfather, whom he calls Pop, and Dad in Belmont, a racially divided town run by the Irish mob, drug dealers, violence, and tangled in a web of secrets. Finley is heading into his senior year. He's been training all summer with his girlfriend, Erin, for basketball season. Erin is seeking her second state championship and a college scholarship. Finley isn't good enough for a scholarship, but he is still the returning point guard on a very good team and plans to follow Erin wherever she may go. Finley keeps to himself at school and hides many things with his silence. That silence and those secrets brings him into contact with the new kid in town, Russ. Russ used to play basketball in L.A. and is a highly sought-after basketball recruit, but since his parents have been murdered, real life is too hard for him right now, so he has attempted to leave this world by creating a being from outer space named Boy 21, and refuses to go by any other name than that one. Russ is a lot like Finley. He doesn't talk much and hides his secrets with silence and covers his hurt with outer space. Tragedy hits when Aaron, whose brother is a high-ranking member of the Irish mob, is hurt very badly in a hit and run. Aaron's accident leads to Finley losing his starting position and ultimately leaving the basketball team. Then, she and her family are gone, with no trace that they ever lived in Belmont. The mystery of Aaron's accident and her sudden disappearance brings back old hard memories for Finley, and all of a sudden he is the one lost in search of answers and Russ has returned back to form, both on and off the court. Russ tries to help his friend find his way, but it's not until they are away from Belmont, on a cabin built to see that far off outer space, do the secrets of the death of Finley's mother and the murdering of Russ's parents come to light. And these two very different earthlings turn out to not be very different at all. On the day of graduation, Finley gets a letter and a ticket to New Hampshire from Aaron, who now goes by Kate but can't tell anyone. So he, ha- so he tells it to Russ, who's headed to Duke on a basketball scholarship, using the code of the Harry Potter series they've been reading and watching throughout this novel, as his ticket to Hogwarts. Finley, who will have to change his name to Lucas, takes his ticket to New Hampshire, leaving behind the old in search for the new and unknown.